What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Teddy. Welcome back to episode 6 of Summertime Rendering. On the last episode we saw what would happen if the absolute worst things took place basically. Like everything went wrong. Absolutely everything to the T. Long story short, we don't want it to go that way. Although we don't have much time to actually fix things or try to make things right. Shadow people taking over the world. Every time Shinpei gets sent back, he sent back a couple of minutes further than the last time. I'd say it's around two to five minutes, which with everything that happened in the space of a day is a long ass time. So at a certain point, if Shinpei gets reborn and that person that he was trying to save is now dead, too bad. That was your shot, you're done, moving on. Without further ado, let's proceed with episode six. Hitogashima. Contact her first. Deja vu? Oh. He hasn't met up with Mio though yet. Also, I'm watching the intro today. Because last rewind time, he was like, rewind time? <laughs> Yo, I miss it though. When is YouTube doing another one? He was walking up a hill with her, and like the whole bicycle incident had already happened. A tear in the fabric of time. I started a romance anime the other day. Kamisama Kiss. That's so good. Restart, restart. Yes, yeah, see? I thought we were past that. Oh, maybe we're seeing it from her point of view. Things start to click, but then who, I wonder, who is she on the phone with? Or was she just making memos? Ah, okay. It's like 700 people, there's no way you don't. Hizuru. Hello? まあ、綺麗になって。歩き。何年ぶりやろか。14年になるな。Isn't Oh, I guess it's kind of started spreading even in Tokyo. Oh yeah, she said something about like, uh, if they were actual shadows, they wouldn't allow you to step on their shadow. Oh, so they're his. I thought maybe Mio was like adopted. え、なうしよ。ひずるの新作やで。昔々ある島に。スワンマン。アジロ新兵。うん。10年前かな。ご両親が船の事故で亡くなられてね。他に見えないのでいろいろあったんやけど。失礼。What if their accident wasn't an accident? It started from him. フェリーで私の前に座っていた少年。やはりあれがアジロ新兵だったのだ。
I feel like this anime is gonna have like a super weird twist. Maybe Shinpei is like involved somehow and he's like the bad one, I guess. Why though? I know it is! That's what I was thinking as well this whole time. So let me get this straight. Like, she took her sister's name or what? Oh, wait, that's their family name, maybe. Strangulation marks? Zero. Oh, wait. Oh, oh. oh. So did this happen before they arrived at the funeral home? ドッペルゲンガーを見たと言ってなかったか。ドッペル。ひずる。ひずる。ひずる。ひずる。ひずる。ひずる。ひずる。ひずる。ひずる。ひずる。ひずる。ひずる。ひずる。ひずる。ひ
Oh, it's so complicated. お前、昨日履いてたパンツって白か。みんなぶりに変えてて最初に聞くことがそれ。お前の昨日のパンツの色を真剣に知りたいんや。Yesterday. Oh. So someone else copied her. And then she also has that ability. Oh. Oh.一時半。後ろの棺が炉に入る。ブンブンブン。気になる人に2つの質問をぶつけてみる。問1。影の病を知っているか。ん?ああ、階段やろ。さっきも同じようなこと聞かれたな。But then <笑>見たよ、見た。ジーが。それ。ああ、しかしてひずるちゃんやない私は知らんね。ひずるのこと知ってんのか、新平。昔うちによう食べに来てくれたんやで。ひずる、ひずる、ひずる。うちに。なん
アミヤブラのアミニユリシロのシロクリシムタイラでアジロシンペイクンエってお願いしますえっとつまりファンです先生の出された本全部持ってません言われた通りに名乗ったぞ俯瞰的に見てもかなりキモくなってしまったがさあどうなるこの状況で君はあのありがとうございます今から述べることが病気ならば正してくれたまえ。今朝のフェリーで君は私を知らなかったが、うん、私の正体は私から名乗る以外に知るすべはないわ。私はまだ名乗っていない。君は今日、7月に何度も繰り返しているのではなかろうか。She knows. She knows a lot, actually. I guess she's maybe expensive to vote. タイムトラベラーだ。How do you know? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh, it feels good that someone knows, though. Sorry, I know I got hella quiet the second half, but I was just trying to see where this was going because I didn't think that Hizuru and the old man knew each other, and then <laughs> the exchange of the phones and the code, and there was a lot that happened before Shimpe got to the funeral home, actually. The attack on a toilet, her checking Ushio's body, like, whoa. This is super fun getting it from all these different angles and perspectives, especially from Hizuru's, because we need her, like, <laughs> desperately. We also got a little backstory of how, like, she technically knows about the shadow people. Like, her sister was attacked by them, but still begs the question how did she technically know? Like, I guess she knew that her sister didn't really. Randomly get murdered. There was more to that, but then she started saying something about it happening maybe in Tokyo as well. So I think that's why she came back. She didn't even know about Ushio's funeral or what had happened there. I forgot she mentioned the whole thing with the shadows. I thought she was just like, you know, really good with her intuition. That's why she could tell the shadows and the real people apart. But then I remember when she looked down at the shadow, I was like,、mm, oh yeah. I'm guessing she still does have good intuition though. I'm a little concerned about Mio because she's a little uninvolved in this scenario. Like, she's not with Shinpei all the time and he's not looking after her either. He's just like in a hurry to make contact with people that know what's going on. Ushio also got like shown a little earlier on, so she was like walking around during broad daylight as well. I'm surprised no one saw her in the space of like three days. I also spoke a little too soon when I said he was gonna reincarnate soon because his father was gonna die or father. But Hizuru was already in the bathroom. She took care of the shadow. I guess no matter what weapon they use, you just gotta whack the shadow itself and they die. So <laughs> that's great. But then my question is what's stopping Mio from making another version of Alan, let's say? And I'm assuming that Mio is the only one now, and then I think there's another person who created Mio who can give birth to new shadows. Unless it's like everyone can do it, then it's fucked, honestly. <laughs> anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.